blessed child of God. In Matthew 17 verse 20, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So here we see a clear illustration of an injunction by Christ, the Messiah himself, who told the disciples that if they have faith as small as a mustard seed, they will say to this mountain, be removed to this other place and it shall be so. Now, the lesson here is very critical and instructive. You are not supposed to pray about your mountain. You are supposed to talk to your mountain. Talk to your mountain and stop praying about the mountain. One of the reasons many believers are not moving forward in certain areas of their life is as a result of the fact that instead of them to talk to the problem, speak to the problem, they complain about the problem, they talk about the problem. Now what happens is that if you complain or talk about your problem, the problem rather exacerbates, it becomes bigger and in the end it becomes you know a point of stagnation in your life talk to the mountain talk to it speak to it and stop praying about the mountain there are many instances of prayer in fact we are supposed to pray every day is a pray without ceasing so it is not against prayer but it's about the difference between prayer and talking when Jesus says talk to your mountain he's trying to tell you that use your authority you have been given power he says in Luke 10 19 behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy therefore use your authority that is what he's saying speak to your mountain and stop praying about the mountain what is a mountain it can be a sickness it can be a disease for instance in the Old Testament God told Moses speak to the rock and tell the rock to bring water do this in front of the whole assembly of Israel at another point God told the prophet Ezekiel prophesy in other words talk to the dry bones talk to the dry bones at one point Jesus spoke to the tree and commanded the tree to wither and to die because it failed to produce fruits. At one point, Jesus once again spoke to the storm, the wind, and commanded the storm or the wind to be quiet and it obeyed. So the lesson is that the things God, you know, has created, child of God, everything has intelligence. Every substance in this universe has intelligence. So we see God telling Moses to speak or talk to the rock. We see God telling Ezekiel to speak to the dry bones. We see Jesus speaking to the wind or the storm. We see Jesus once again speaking to the tree or talking to the tree. And so he instructs us, Jesus instructs the believers, speak to your mountain. It didn't say pray about your mountain for instance if you read Colossians chapter 4 verse 3 it talks about pray for me that I will have utterance there are certain things we pray about but when it comes to mountains situations you know something outside the will of God talk to the mountain stop praying about the mountain if you continue to pray about the mountain you stand forever in that place you, you spend if you spend hundred years 30 years praying about it and it's not working because you are supposed to use authority and speak about it God is waiting for you but you think you know you are waiting for God he didn't say pray about your mountain he said talk to your mountain child of God talk to the mountain if you can speak to the tree the mountain the bones and all this what stops you from talking to your body speak to your body if there is a problem in any part of your body it doesn't matter whether it's in your eye 
in your leg, in your brain, wherever it is. It is not how delicate the problem is. It's about how clear your faith is. It doesn't matter the size of the problem. The size of the problem does not change the power of God. The only change and variable factor in the equation is in your mind. If you believe, all things are possible to those who believe. Speak to the mountain and stop praying about the mountain. This is your brother Collins. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, like the video and click the um, notification button if you haven't done so. So that the next time I send another video, YouTube will notify you. Thank you so much and God bless you.